You can see behind me uh, students everywhere who are supposed to be in class. It's a rowdy situation. It has been alleged that students of Akenzoa Secondary School have been involved in court-related fights this morning. When NTA News crew arrived at the school, students were huddled together and the police were seen trying to disperse the students from further escalating the situation. Officials of both schools, Oba Akenzoa and their neighbor, Ihogwe, also seen gathered together discussing the incident. We were surprised this morning when we saw the Akenzoa students running into our side. So they were jumping the fence and uh, trying to run. We saw people with uh, cutlass, you know, pursuing them. So later we now understand that uh, they have, uh, one of them, one of the, those uh, students, fought uh, a rival student, whether yesterday or so, and they got that one wounded or they now came for revenge this morning in their school. So they break it to their, through their gate and they started, started uh, cutting the, the student they see with a knife, cutlass, uh, battles and so on. For refuge, the uh, Akenzoa student ran into our school. But if there were the perimeter fence was completed, they won't have that that uh, advantage. The pressure now is that they, there was a fight between Yogbe and Akenzoa. I'm sure they cited them in our college school. They actually came in for refuge. So not that we are fighting. Need security, teachers and students of both schools. Because we are in our class teaching now, we are not comfortable. We now begin to, there's no car here, there's no car, everybody are run away with their car. Residents of the area appealed for urgent government intervention, as this incident is one too many. The government to close this school down, because for the past five years in this area, we are not have peace because of this school. Dead toll, people have died. If I, we count people that are dead, we can't even really count here in this area, you understand? And this school is causing serious problem for us here. We'll come and do our possible best to drive them. So the best the government will do is to, if government will provide a security post here, as police as a station close to this school. Because of this school, a lot of things are happening here. Most, most of the students, the, 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 the school has also produced some kind of hoodlums. They go to school, they do a lot of things. Like this uh, street, uh, Yogbe here, they rob nearly every day. You understand? And in this place, they bush out some people. But three days ago, they were bushing one boy there. If I had not come out, that boy would have been a dead person by now. A visit to the University of Benin Teaching Hospital, UBTH, revealed that the student allegedly attacked is receiving medical attention. My name is Emeka Chizowa. I attend Obakezwa Senior Secondary School. I'm in SS2. I'm the third born of my mom. The divisional police officer who declined comment, however, referred NTA News crew to the police public relations officer, Mr. Chibuzo Wambuzo, who said he had not been properly briefed on the issue. In Benin, Adubaji Ojegba, NTA News.